off the rock! How did we get up here? I can't even... Yo, I can't even move, I'm not... Come on, come on, come on! No, what am I doing? Whoa, shoot him! Hey guys, it's Cryptic Mario here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 1, where today, guys, we are continuing the story of John Marston himself. I just saw a message that said, go to B to see Bonnie McFarlane or something. Let's go see her and uh, see what's going on. Alrighty. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Okay. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. <laughs> no, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize mm -hmm. if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll oh. see. <laughs> She's going down. Let's go. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Same as any other. Although cool. this is Red Dead One, so I might get completely bodied. On the count of three, three, two, one, go! I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Mister Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah! Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! She's going down. No way, bro. No way. No way, bro. I swear. If she beats me, bro, I'm done. I'm done. There she is. Whoa! What are you doing? Sabotage my horse. She gave her drugs or something. What'd she do? Bro, move! Come on! Hey. Come on. Bro, get off the rock! Yeah. Get off the rock! How did we get up here? I can't even... Yo, I can't even move! I'm about to lose! Go get off the horse! Let's go! Oh my god! Nah, ain't no way. She gave my horse like sleeping pills or something. Wow. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarlane. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Alright guys, we're gonna go see Marshall Johnson, I believe. That's how you don't get inside. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Ugh. Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Oh. 
You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Whoa. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you get with I don't with work me, with him. What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, That's Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has pain? problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Just gonna leave this Come guy on, in Come Follow me. How do you do? So so it looks like this guy might actually help us after all. Led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. Hmm. This dumb red bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. He just doesn't see us staring at him. I ain't riding. The top screw. I'm not driving. Hey. Wait, bro, wait, bro, even in this game, my horse sucks. I'm getting after oh, that's my horse. Catch me up. Well, as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. A few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walt's gang's been growing fast. How long is easy money for easy work? Joel Springs, Gamble Tooth Bridge, 
These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Yeah. Bear? Holy moly, I hate this horse. I'm afraid you're mine. Come on. Good night. Good grief. Almost forget how to play. But we should be alright. Good night. Come on, come on, come on. No, what am I doing? Whoa, shoot him. Whoa. Good night. back into it now. Guess what left now. Try to take him alive. Okay. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Ten bucks says I could have caught in there without killing them, but you know, I'm not gonna be able to do a perfect playthrough, guys. It's uh, it's quite a normal game, and also it's impossible to do a perfect playthrough. All right, guys, we're gonna go see Bonnie now. See what she wants. This is going to be a long playthrough. Hey, oh, short. Oh my god. Oh, I'm back. Bonnie. Did you find lots so? How are you? Good, Mr. McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. Do I go on this side? Ah, it matters. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzer food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Yeah. Well, that's well, a relief. I kind of have. There's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this. Don't leave the rain. Wait, 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 I hit the wrong button. Miss? I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. 
I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in love with the illusion that age brings wisdom. way back and I didn't have a lot of choice I'd be getting back there if True. I was you that's what I'm trying to do miss. wasn't me how well do you know New Austin I don't we talked about coming down here many times but never made it who's we me and the folks I used to used to work with yeah New Austin Last real outlaw. <laughs> yeah, I knew Austin. The old ways still hold true. You do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. You do a man right, well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, He's still Mr. alive. Austin, what dreadful knowledge you get that so high. size dribble out of. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. The most important thing so. for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Ah! The world's going crazy! Good, clever! Wrong. No Not yet it hasn't. Trust me. Get by without me. Howdy. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Any trouble, let me know. Thanks a lot. Doctor selling an apple. An apple day keeps the doctor away. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. <laughs> Funny. I hate how my revolver is gold. Hey, my honor went up. All right, we're gonna go see Marshall Johnson again. Hello, hello. It's Armadillo Seven Three One. What is it with these things? Hello. What is this guy doing? It's a new line. Hello, hello. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshall! Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? 
Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's lazy go. Lazy eye. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. So he's going to try and help us with Bill. Never take try for an answer. Ooh. Do or do not. There is no try. Let's go. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram government. from some federal clowns in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. I guess it's complicated. I came because it was made impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight-lipped son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. Ooh, I ain't gonna dig I'm this hole this no guy. deeper. Ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Williamson folded you up like an empty person last time, if I remember correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. <laughs> wow. I'll be honest with you, Savage. Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash came in a wild land. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes out for the ballers. Oh, I'm getting Steve. All right, boys. Let's proceed on foot from here. Whoa there! Let's move up the canyon towards the fort. Do you recognize this place? Uh, is this where we went with Sadie to get that bounty in yep. the epilogue? Dang. Probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Alrighty. Rustler, find some cover. Christ alive. Are you kidding me? Got one. Got more than just one. <laughs> Let's split up. You take the left, boys. I'll go right. All right. Marston, you can go with the deputies. Cover me. I'll cover you, bud. Are you kidding? Stop falling behind. We gotta push forward. I'm really ahead of you. Nice of you to give an old man a hand. My God. Good night. Yeah. Oh my God. This game. Bro, come on. Tell the ballers to give themselves up or we'll kill every last one of you. Too late. Oh, he's still alive. That's it. Come on, let's keep moving. Hellfire. Come on. The deputies are making some ground over there. I see that. Eyes up! We ain't finished yet! Good shooting, boy! Thank you, sir. Back him! Bless him, boy! I am a legend! Put down your guns and surrender! Woo! One more for the vultures. Bastards! 
good try. I'll wait for you short ways up this ridge. Touch the camp, then regroup. Don't think you'll be needing this. Ooh, I got a new outfit. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Be careful. That's what I just said. I think I spotted some snipers. Great. Look out! There are them snipers. You better surrender. You hear? I don't see them. Oh. I'm out of, I'm out of dead eye. Yeah, who is next? I need to eat something. How do you eat, Mac? Mac? Hmm? How do you eat? You can't regenerate? Not in the middle of battle. Go, 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 go. Go! Oh, I can't regenerate! Move! Hell no! This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around, listen up. Let's try to sneak up on him. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Seems like a nice place for hostages, huh? Thanks, Marshal. Jeez. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle. Keep bringing back. hostages here. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Interesting. Uh, 
Nice and done. Alright guys, I think I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Wow, a lot is going on right now. We have a deputy on our side to go after um, Bill Williamson. He better, he better man up, get some guns, you know, get some soldiers because we are coming at him with everything very soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Click here for the official Red Dead Redemption 1 playlist. Click here for the video that YouTube, you I can't speak, that YouTube thinks that you specifically will enjoy. So you might want to click it to see what it is. Click here to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.